hello guys welcome back to the channel and this lab is a little bit tricky so i request you please watch the video carefully because i'm going to explain each and every point in detail so first of all what you do you have to just log in with your username once and once you're done with that this may come back over here and now here just will search for the vm instance over here like this way and op open this thing in new tab come back over here wait for a second and then just simply click on this ssh button over here now just simply wait over here and then just simply click on this authorize over here now in the description box of this video i will share one github link just simply click on that link and then you are able to access this document now what you do just simply scroll down now first of all what you do we have to just simply export all this value so first of all just make up this first command copy like this come back over here now just simply paste over here like this way now for the zone one what you do come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number one scroll down a little bit and from here you will get a zone so just simply copy this zone like this way copy like this come back over here and paste and hit enter like this way now for the second zone what you do come back over here and from here just simply copy this command copy like this come back over here and paste now what you do first of all you have to just simply copy your first zone copy like this and paste over here like this way now here you can see this last alphabet now you have to just simply replace this alphabet with another alphabet how can you do that so as you can see for me the given alphabet was c so i have the choice like i can go with the a b or d but i will recommend you do not go with the option a so just simply type b like this way and then hit enter for example let's suppose for you the given zone one was the us central one b so then you have the option you can go with the option a c or d so i will recommend you always go with c or d do not go with a otherwise you might face unnecessary error in the letter now once you're done with that come back over here and from here just simply copy this third command copy like this come back over here and paste now for the second username come back to the lab instructions and from here just simply copy this username to copy like this come back over here paste hit enter like this way now again come back to the github repo like this way and then copy the second project id command copy like this come back over here and paste now for the second project id come back to the lab instructions and from here just simply choose your second project id copy like this way this second project id paste over here and it's done now again come back to the github repo and we are done with all this export value now just simply copy this command copy like this come back over here paste hit enter wait for a couple of seconds over here and it's done now what you do you have to just simply copy this link copy like this open this thing new tab and paste over here wait for a second now you have to just simply authorize yourself and now just scroll down and then click on this allow and then copy this token come back over here and just simply paste the token over here and hit enter so we are done with the this command now copy this command copy like this come back over here paste hit enter now i request to please pay attention because i know most of you guys going to make a mistake over here please watch the video carefully now And it's done now here what you do pick up configuration to use so every time what you do you have to just simply type 2 over here like this way and then hit enter now here you can see enter the configuration name for the name what you do come back to the lab instructions and from the github repo just simply copy this username to copy like this way and make sure that you do not copy any extra space copy like this come back over here and paste hit enter like this way and it's done now just simply wait now here you can see choose the account so for that what you do you have to just simply choose the login with the new account so just simply type 2 and then hit enter like this way now it's asking do you want to continue so just simply press capital y and hit enter like this way now here please pay attention over here first of all just simply copy this link open a new tab again and just simply paste over here like this way now this time what you do you have to just simply choose the choose another account over here now for this account come back to the lab instructions and from here just simply copy this username to copy like this come back over here paste hit enter like this way now for the password just simply copy the same password copy like this come back over here paste hit enter like this way wait for a second click on this i understand over here and scroll down then click on this allow and then copy this token copy like this come back to the ssh and just simply paste over here like this way now just simply wait now here what is what you do we have to just simply choose your first project id so if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and from here you can just simply cross verify the 
your first project id you can just simply check the last four digit over here so for me the my project id given on the first attempt so as you can see this so i'm going to choose that number for you sometime what happens your project id might be given on the second numbers third numbers so accordingly that you have to choose your first project id like this way so we have done with this first project id okay now just simply wait and it's done now again come back to the github repo so we have done with this command this command and all the things and we are done now just simply copy this command just simply copy like this come back over here paste hit enter now you don't have to do anything just simply wait for this command get execute and once it's done you are done with this lab so just simply wait and watch and it's done now if we just simply come back to the lab and click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of seconds score will update for sure just simply wait and watch And as you can see, it's done. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day, guys.